Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial, and this week, today on Wednesday, and then on Friday, I'm going to do two tutorials about paper airplanes. This first one's going to be a quick tutorial, um, because it goes by rather quickly, and it's how to create a paper airplane with Element 3D version 2. And then on Friday, I'm going to show you how to create a paper airplane when you don't have Element 3D version 2, because it actually only works in version 2, it doesn't work in version 1. Um, and how to create it out of um, shapes and layers and masks and things like that. And so this is the Element 3D version that you'll see right now. And here is the version I made out of just solid layers. And I've all also animated this one. So this is what we're going to be doing on Friday. But today, let's create this out of Element 3D. So let's start with a new composition. Command or Control N on your keyboard will bring up a new composition. Give it a name. And let's grab, grab a new solid. So Command Y will bring up a new solid called Element. And then I'm going to grab another new solid. So Command or Control Y. And we're going to call this one Mask because we're going to draw out a mask. Doesn't matter the colors on these because once you apply the effect, it'll just take away the color. So what we're going to do is make sure the mask layer is selected, grab our pen tool. And I'm going to draw kind of the cross section of a paper airplane. So I'm going to go straight over, go down, back up. And you don't have to be perfect because, again, most people when they make paper airplanes, they're not perfect. Okay, just something about like that. Now let's go to Element Layer, add the effect, and we can go ahead and hide this mask layer, it doesn't matter. Now go to the Custom Layers, under Custom Texts, Text and Masks, apply the mask layer, go to the Scene Setup, hit Extrude. And there we have kind of the beginnings of a paper airplane. Now what I need to do with this is go to the Bevel, so I just twirl down into the Extrusion Model, and under Extrude, we're going to extrude this a lot. So it's as long as a paper airplane is. That's looking pretty good about like that. Click OK. Now let's bring in just a camera so we can kind of orbit around and see what we're doing. And what I'm going to do is on this element layer, go to Group 1, go to Particle Look, and then go into Deform under Taper. Let's enable that and go down to the Origin twirl that down and let's add some amount. You can see it's starting to taper but we want to change where the origin is. So let's take this orientation, this top one, and we're going to change that to 90 degrees. And then when I change the taper amount you can see it's changing the way that paper airplane looks. Now that I've got this, it's not exactly as long as I want. You can see it's looking kind of funny looking. So let's come back into the scene setup, and let's increase that extrude a lot. Let's make it really long, because when you taper it, it, you see how it affects the way it looks. So then let's come in here, change the taper amount, and there we go. And what we have here is a paper airplane made with Element 3D version 2. Now you need version 2 because of these new deform tools that come in version 2, two those aren't in version 1, and you can't create this without it. So that is Paper Airplane with Element 3D. Make sure you watch Friday's tutorial as well, um, so just check back at my channel on Friday where you can see how you can see how we can do the same thing, but without using Element 3D, we're using just shapes and masks to create that. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.